I mean, it's fine. I feel like I've always kind of embraced the pressure and just kind of looked at it as an opportunity, not so much as a as a burden to go out there and perform. And I don't know. It's not really me going out there trying to prove people wrong, but just all the people that it's always believed in me. I had a feeling pretty early on that I was going to start pretty soon. Me and Chase were splitting reps, so, I mean, Tedford didn't make it official until later on in the week, but we were kind of splitting reps, and I kind of had a good feeling that hopefully it would come if I was performing well in practice. That uh, just made you comfortable just getting the ball out of your hands and taking the safe play and living to see another down. Yeah, I mean, they're, Nevada's a great defense. They, they did a really good job. They're dropping eight a lot of the time. So, I mean, Coach Teffer and Coach DeBoer were just telling me not to be too aggressive and just take what the defense is giving me. So, to get the ball out quick to the running backs and they're making plays for me. Would, would a younger version of you maybe taking some of those risks early on? Is that something you learned in, in your career to just take what the defense gives you and just kind of uh, drive through? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Younger Marcus would see a one on one coverage, just try to drive the ball no matter if there's a guy over the top. So, I mean, it definitely comes with uh, experience, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, and just good coaching, uh, making sure I'm not overly aggressive. Oh, my favorite memory just, I mean, I didn't have to do too much. I mean, I didn't have to go out of my comfort zone and try to be a playmaker and do too much. I mean, I was just out there, guys were making plays for me, and I was just playing within the offense and not trying to do too much. I was just really proud of all the skilled guys and offense line. I mean, they're doing a great job up front, keeping me upright. So, I mean, just credit to all those guys. Marcus, it, uh, it looked like or it sounded like you had a, a lot of people from Dinuba here. Did you know about that? Or did you, you know, what, what's that been like getting, you know, a whole community support, town support from, from you back in yeah, your hometown? Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. I mean, I know as soon as I got here, a lot of I had people old coaches and uh, old teammates, old friends saying that they bought their season tickets as soon as they heard the news. So, I mean, it's great to just know that you have that kind of support from a town just from high school. The, a lot of them were able to make it all the way out to Oregon State. So, I mean, I couldn't have picked a better place coming home in Fresno State. Cool. And then how gratifying is that that you're able to back that up, you know, with a, with a good f performance today, your first start at Fresno State? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, Coach Tefford made it clear for me. Uh, not to try to do too much. I don't have to be Superman to make spectacular plays. Just play within the offense and distribute the ball, and guys will make plays for me. Anybody else? Marcus, did you feel comfortable right away? I mean, you looked comfortable right away. So did you feel that? Did you feel comfortable? Um, I mean, before any game, I mean, whether. I had six career starts or one, my first one tonight. I mean, I feel like you're always going to be nervous before a game. I mean, if you care, you're going to be nervous. So, I mean, I was definitely nervous, but guys, are, like I said, guys around me were making plays, so they made it a lot easier on me. still a big Valley V on the field. You represent the Valley now as a Dinuba native. How does it feel to, to be the starting quarterback now as, as a Valley representative? Um, I mean, it's great. And definitely comes with uh, just a lot of pride behind it. I mean, Valley pride is a big thing around here. So I mean, just to have the support from not only my teammates, but the community support, I mean, it only pushes me that much more to, to strive to get better each and every day. What was the best throw that you made tonight, Marcus? Um, I, I think just the time around, me and Keyshawn at the end, uh, towards the second half, I believe it was, uh, just to throw to Keyshawn. I mean, he stacked the duty, made had a great release. I mean, like I said, those guys are out there running great routes and make it easy on me. I just got to throw the ball out there, and they're going to make plays for me. It was a deep post to Darian Grimm, too. I think that might have been one of your first deep throws. Yeah. You've been kind of checking down, going through your progressions early. Were you looking forward to taking a shot deep and, you know, that was a kind of a deep post. You hit him in stride, right? Yeah, so we kind of knew that they were going to be rolling to cover five or cover three. So, I mean, if the safety didn't get any depth, which he didn't, he kind of was just backpelling but not very aggressively. So, I mean, I told Darion just kind of be on the lookout for it. If he doesn't get any depth, we're going to kind of let it fly. 
Was there something that you did the last couple of weeks in practice that you think led to you getting the starting nod? Was there something you had to overcome? Um, I think just learn, really learning the ins and outs of the of the offense. I'm, I'm pretty thankful that Tefter was patient with me and allowing me to really kind of have hiccups in practice and not get on me too much, just really coaching me up instead of turning the other way and just allowing, working with me and allowing me to just learn the offense and come along as, as I was going at my own pace.